We're the Ohio guys at MonsterCon in Columbus, Ohio. Today we're joined by Trina Nishimura. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How are you today, Mike? I was doing great until I had a mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody messes up. Yeah. Everybody. What's it like working in the industry today? Uh, working in the industry today, uh, in the uh, voiceover world of anime, is really great. Um, I have been doing this for a number of years now, and um, it's been really fun to watch uh, everything evolve and change and um, see the characters and, and, and everybody uh, in the industry change. So it's been amazing. It's been a wonderful ride. What's the favorite show you've worked on? Although a lot of people are saying it's like picking their favorite baby. <laughs> I, it's true. It's true. I, I love all of the shows that I've done for different reasons. Um, I love, of course, Attack on Titan has been great. Um, Steins Gate was really interesting and really fun and challenging. Um, Full Metal Alchemist was great. Uh, Evangelion was crazy and cathartic because I could scream my face off. Um, but yeah, it is. It is like picking. I don't have kids, but I have shows. So <laughs> I love all of them, and they've all been great. Well, you mentioned it. What was it like working on Attack on Titan? Attack on Titan uh, has been a really wonderful ride. Uh, I have been overwhelmed with how positive all of the feedback has been and how great all of you have been. Uh, it's been amazing and super, I keep saying super fun, but it really has been super fun. Um, I love the character. Uh, she's one of those uh, rare females that is hardcore and awesome and better at something than everybody else, not just because, you know, she's a woman, but just because she just is. And I, I've really enjoyed watching uh, the female uh, stereotype change and shift over the years. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so that's been, it's been really fun and I'm, I'm excited to be able to voice a character that is that strong and that is that uh, brave and uh, loyal and tough. You mentioned it as well. What was it like working on Steins Gate? Steins Gate was great. It was challenging because uh, Steins Gate was challenging because of this, the the, the storylines and and all of the time travel stuff and the butterfly effect and and everything else. That was really really fun. Uh, but um, there were some really amazing scenes that I got to do uh, that I really enjoyed. Uh, they were challenging and interesting at the same time. Could be any of the characters that you played in real life. Uh, who would it be? And you can mix and match their characters and attributes and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, if I could be any character and mix and match, I would say Mikasa, but like I don't want to live in a world where people could eat me. Uh, so that's not good. Um, you know, I would I would say uh, I want to be uh, Makase Kirisu because she's rad. She's a like genius, like a super genius at 18, and uh, really fun and happy, and and you know she and Okabe are kind of the perfect couple. I mean, she does well. There's a thing at the end, but um, <laughs> I would want to be Makase Kirisu or Christina, depending. What was it like working on Heaven's Lost Property? Heaven's Lost Property was fun. Um, it, it was it was fun to be able to like scream and be like karate choppy. That was fun. Okay. What was it like working on School Rumble? That's kind of a blast from the past. That's true. School Rumble was great because um, Brina Palencia was the director, and one of my best friends was the sound engineer, Casey Clark. So it was really fun to be able to work with them and get to go into the studio and be like, hey, what are we doing today, guys? And like break out into song and stuff like that. All, I mean, all in all, like when you're like, what was it like working on whatever show? Like, yeah. It's all good, man. Like, it was all good things. Um, is there anything coming out that you can talk about right now? And if you can't, we totally understand. Yeah, there are some really exciting projects that I'm working on right now that unfortunately I can't talk about yet. However, if you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, and I usually release all of my stuff there. There's also the fabulous Trina Nishimura Fan Club that's run by the amazing Chris. You're so nice. Thank you. Um, and uh, and I uh, so follow me on Facebook. I'm about to get a Twitter account and start tweeting. I was, I was hesitant. I, I've been holding out as long as possible, but I guess it's time to take the plunge. <laughs> so. We'd like to thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We're the Ohio Guys. I'm Mike. She's Trina. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.